much. I am um, I'm getting quite good at this now. The I think the first thing to say is that we've had such a marvellous response to this idea, well two ideas really. The first of which um, well, was to open the works in the place of Eastley. Um, admittedly somebody got there a hundred years before me um, and then somebody else had a pretty dumb idea of shutting it down so we thought it was wrong and we've done our very very best to reopen it. The fact that you've come here and are enjoying it suggests that you probably think it's quite a good idea as well. Um, I had to smile, the local paper referred to us as the former uh, railway works just because we've got a, a few older locomotives and things like that in. Um, when, when this event's over on the Monday, uh, some of these vehicles will be going away uh, and about half of them will be staying here because we've got to work on them and that's what we do for a living. We repair trains, we repair locomotives in the loco works. Um, it's been said a, a few times that um, well, East, East, the, East the Railway and the Railway is Eastleigh and we believe firmly in that and we wanted to honour the event of the centenary and the absolutely marvellous help we've had um, from the borough and from the people of Eastleigh by um, doing something to mark the event um, in a way that meant something to us. And the local behind you is um, one that I've been after for a while. We have a full programme of work for it. Um, you'll notice it's not the shiniest loco on the patch, and there's a reason for that. It works. It's a working loco. Um, what I prefer is that the engineering side of it is good. And the engineering side of this is excellent. It's a really good loco that will be earning its keep. It will be creating jobs in Eastleigh. And it will be running up and down the main line doing exactly what it was designed to do. It's not an antique, it's not preserved, it's a working piece of kit. With that in mind, they're associated, the class 73 is heavily associated with Eastleigh. Um, this one was overhauled. In fact, everywhere I go inside, there are little stickers that say Eastley Works with dates on it. So I'm thinking of having some new ones made up so that as we do each new piece of work, um, we can have some Eastley Works 2009, 10, 11, and 12. Um, the loco itself, uh, it's, it's my absolute favourite. I bought it a, a small while ago as a non runner and derelict. Um, people who live and work in Eastley have work, been working on it solidly and it now runs and does everything it should do. And if you were around last night, you'd have seen it shunting steam trains and doing its job properly. For that reason, we thought it was very sensible that we named it with an appropriate name. I'm not keen on some of the sillier names like Top of the Pops and uh, uh, something and something quality assured and that. I thought we should have a name that reflects the pride that we have in the works and the pride that we have in the town. So for that reason, um, the Mayor has very kindly agreed to come down and name this locomotive. I'm now going to hand over to you. Morning everybody. Uh, sorry, it's afternoon isn't it? It's after 12 o'clock. Um, thank you all for coming. It's, there's a lovely crowd of people here and I think it's great that you've actually come here to enjoy the railway works uh, and what we have on show. <coughs> Excuse me. Eastley is a town with a long and proud railway tradition and it was very sad when the works closed in 2006. It's wonderful to see the railway works open again and fulfilling the role it was designed for. It's also good to see that many of the former staff have paid a nostalgic return, return and I hope you're enjoying the visit. This weekend's centenary celebrations are a high spot in the history of the works and I'm very impressed at how many of the old steam trains are here, several of which were built in Eastleigh or have a close affiliation with the town. I'd like to thank the staff from Night Rail Services and the Railway Magazine for organising this event, which is raising money for three important charities. And I'd, I'd like to thank everybody for actually coming. I think it's made a wonderful weekend I think it's now my duty to perform the naming ceremony for this locomotive. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry, we don't have any champagne. I would love to bang a magnum of champagne against it, but unfortunately we don't have that. So I've got to pull a cord. <coughs> I now name this loco the Borough of East Peak. 